Hello, 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 everybody. Hello, Matt. How are you doing? I'm doing okay, Matt. I'm doing okay. You know, work's been pretty hectic the last few days. There was some major kerfuffles with some stuff, and there's been a lot of fallout because of it. So we're just trying to clean up all of the mess, uh, which is not great. So, you know, there's that. And then, you know, outside of work, things are, you know, not the best either. We got... uh our vet told us that the uh, the cat's kind of on her last legs, so it's not great. But uh, what can you do, right? All we can do is make her comfortable and all that kind of stuff. So you know, it's been it's been a whirlwind of a uh, of a you know December and January have been just disaster months for for me in my personal life, and it's uh, you know. It's just been uh, not ideal, been not ideal, but you know. All right, I'm hoping that there he is. I did. I sent you a message on Patreon saying that I sent you the request for the money, bro, Conky. Uh, so you should have got that from me already from PayPal, and you should have got a message from me on Patreon as well. Oh yes, I'm here, and we have your bundles. Look at this. Look at these beautiful, beautiful bundles. Kaladesh and Aether Revolt. Courtesy of Moe's Magic. Hey Corbin, how's it going? And how you doing, Broke Honky? Happy birthday to Broke Honky. This is, uh, you know, he said his birthday was coming up at the end of the month and he wanted to splurge a little on himself, which, who doesn't, right? I know, I know every time it's my birthday, I'm like, I want to buy myself a gift. It's my birthday. This shit, if any time I'm going to buy myself a gift, it's going to be now. And uh, here we are. So this is what, uh, one of the options it was yesterday. All right. There you go. Boom. Done. I see that it's there. Everything's good. Okay, so it was yesterday. Well, you know, happy belated then, bro. Conky. Happy belated. Play, played Commander, uh, your friend's deck that makes zombie tokens. Nice. Kaladesh first. That's what I was just going to ask you. So you knew what I was. You knew what was coming. You knew what was coming. We'll put that right over there. Like that, just off to the side, so that it stays in shot. All right. First hand soul ring. All right. Let's get right into it. As my stomach grumbles away there, Jesus. The only masterpiece you've ever got was me pulling it out of Aether Revolt for you. All right. Well. Let's see if we can run it back for you. Let's see if we can run it back for you. I'm just pulling up your email here. Because in Kaladesh you were looking for Foundry Inspector, Blossoming Defense, and Ceremonious Rejection, right? Other than that, just the, uh... Just the rares and mythics and foils and stuff, right? I'm assuming you don't necessarily care about the, uh, the lands and stuff. Man. It smells like Moe's. It smells like his store, which is amazing. <laughs> and the smell of his store, just so that we're clear, is like cardboard. Like, you know, like that, that, like, that cardboard card smell. Like, just cards. It 
smell it smells like that like you know just like you've been cracking packs forever smell you know what i mean all right so the ones you're looking for are blossoming defense which is a uncommon i believe is that correct ceremonies rejection which is also an uncommon so these are just all uncommons the ones that you're looking for from here i believe is that correct i'll scan through these quick just to make sure but i think that's what it is Sm smells like cardboard crack that's right voltaic brawler chief of the foundry no you wanted foundry inspector close it's close not quite though perpetual timepiece did you want me to do the counting to see if there was foils is this what how do you want me to do this Do you want me to keep the foil packs off to the side and then do them all last, like I like I used to do? Like it, I'm, it doesn't matter to me. This one doesn't have a foil, but you've got a Giraper Orrery as your first rare. So it's, it's actually a really nice card. This card sees uh, sees some play uh, in Commander and things, right? Each player may play an additional land on their turns. In the beginning of each player's upkeep, that player has no cards in hand. They draw three cards. So then, like, they're all uncommons, right? Yeah, I think you said yes to that question. Fabrication. Creeping mold. What am I doing? Fabrication module. Glimmer of genius. And eliminate the competition. All right. Ooh, how about a Nissa emblem? I'll send that your way. Everyone likes to have emblems for their walkers, you know? Okay. There's a foil in this pack. Should I... Should I show off the uncommons, I guess? Probably, right? Fretwork Colony, Era of Invention, and then Gearshift Ace. So then you've got a rare and a foil in that pack. Okay. We'll keep up the suspense. Do all the foils at the end, right? That's how we do. Okay. Embral Bruiser, Cloud Blazer, Glimmer of Genius again, and a Dynavolt Tower. Dynavolt Tower was a fun card, if I remember correctly. The card was fun to play with uh, when the set was out because of the energy, right? So it's like whenever you cast an instant or sorcerer, you get two energy, and then you can pay five and, and lightning bolt something. It's pretty nice. So basically what, like cast three lightning bolts, cast a, a fourth lightning bolt for free, right? Because three lightning bolts gives you six energy and then you pay five of the energy to lightning bolt. Seems good. Long Tusk Cub, that was a big player in uh, Standard when that was out, when this set was out. Ballista Charger, Perpetual Timepiece, and Confiscation Coup. All right, we need, uh, there's another emblem. There's a nice Dovin emblem. All right. Are there any rares or things you're looking for specifically out of these sets, uh, Bro Conky? Or are you just looking for the uncommons and then also the, uh, I didn't count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, okay. And then just like the, the masterpieces and stuff. Bombat, uh, Bombat Bizarre Barge, Servo Exposi uh, Ex Exhibition, my goodness, and Diabolic Tutor. All right, another foil there. So that's two foils. Two foils so far. Okay. No foil in this pack. Harsh Scrutiny. Wisp Weaver Angel. Creeping Mold. And Skyship Stalker. The big old dragon that everyone, like, there's always a big red dragon, right? In every set. Always. Chandra, Blue Gear Hulk, a few others. Okay. Skywhaler Shot, Servo Exhibition, Glintness Crane. Come on, we haven't hit a single one of the uncommons you're looking for. And, ooh, Concealed Courtyard. All right, nice. Need pushes and walking ballistas? Okay. Those are in Aether Revolt, so yeah, we'll get there. All right. Let's see. 
Okay, another foil here. All right, that's good. Three foils, good, good. Demolition Stomper, Consulate Surveillance, Era of Innovation. He has one. Broke Honky has one. Or, I mean, like, he might have more. Right? This is, this is the only masterpiece you've ever got was pull, me pulling it out of Aether Revolt for, for him. No foil in this pack. So only three foils out of this bundle. You own more. Yeah, yeah. Because you've traded and bought them, right? Yeah. Bomat Bazaar Barge. Engineered Might. Servant of the Conduit. And Syndicate Trafficker. Okay. So. Garbage. Let's go with the first foil first, right? Why not? Gear Shift Ace had what? What behind it? Rare, a bloss a blooming marsh. All right, another land, and your foil is a Willy Bandar. Nothing too exciting there. All right, second foil. Your rare here is a Syndicate Trafficker. Blomp, blomp. But something good. Foil Swamp. All right, well, I mean, I like Foil Lands. I don't know about you, but... Walking Ballista so good. All right. All right, last chance, Kaladesh. Come on. Hey, don't let Aether Revolt show you up by opening an, an invention. Okay, well, there's your Mythic. Sky, uh, Sky Sovereign Console flagship. This is actually a pretty interesting card. Uh, like, people don't necessarily like it, per se, but it's... It's an interesting card, right? Because like the when it comes into the battlefield, it does something, and then it deals something when it attacks as well. Yeah. So it's basically like the giants, right? Like the titans, only it's a vehicle, which is kind of interesting, right? And the crew is three, which is pretty high, but at the same time, being able to essentially shoot something for three damage when this attacks, and it's a 6-5 flyer, is pretty good. It's not bad. And your foil... Another foil land? And it's my favorite art. Look at that one. That's my favorite art from uh, the lands in this cycle. Uh, and it's foil. So that's pretty sweet. I mean, it's another foil land, which is not ideal. I mean, you'd rather have something other than a basic land. You know, like, I mean, getting one foil basic land out of a, out of a bundle is not that common. Getting two out of one bundle is very uncommon. Um, one mythic, two emblems, none of the uncommons you were looking for. Three foils. It's about average for a bundle of this type, to be fair, right? Like, I mean, it's about average. You didn't get any Blossoming Defense, no Ceremonious Rejections, and no Foundry Inspectors. Huh. All right, well, let's put these off to the side like so. And let's put these off to the side like so. And uh, let's see if Aether Revolt can show up Kaladesh. Good thing you like foil land, right? See, you're on the same page as me. I really like foil lands. I I really enjoy them. All right. What do we got here? Whoa! Double die. That's a first. I've never seen this before. I've never seen this before. That's an interesting, uh... Huh. Huh. Burp, burp, burp. That's... That, I don't know. Some of these packs are looking pretty busted open. Look. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but this is, like, straight up just, like, open. Like, it's split on the top. Like, now, nobody was in this because it was a sealed bundle, but, like, they thought you needed to for Commander. Yeah. Another package of lands. Where did I put the other package of lands? How could, that, how could this have gone missing? Oh, it's in this box right here. Okay. Where did I put the other die? There it is. Okay. There. Look, we opened two bundles and got three dice. Random. Super random. 
You got your little nonsense garbage? Yeah, like, look at this one too, eh? You might have some crimps in here. If if we're lucky. Some of these some of these packs look pretty mangled. Huh. Alright, well, let's let's see, I guess. There doesn't look like there's any crimps per se, but like I guess it really depends. I've never I don't think I've ever seen them split like this before. Like see how that's like it's just basically like open on the top. From being banged around, I guess. Now, you said, uh, what was it? What was the cards you needed from this set? I gotta pull up my phone here. Uh, Fatal Push, obviously. Uh, Gifted Aetherborn, Trophy Mage, and Winding Constrictor. Also all uncommons, I believe. If I'm not mistaken. So that's what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10? Alright. Well, that's exactly it, Jonathan. I know. They don't exist. But anyway, we'll see. Gremlin Infestation, Crackdown Construct, Efficient Construction, and your rare is a Battle at the Bridge. Alright. Rogue Refiner, Siege Modification, Windkin Raiders, and your Mythic is indomitable creativity. Well, I hope you're planning to be very creative with this bundle because that is not a crazy. That's it's an it's an interesting mythic. It's an interesting mythic, but it's not necessarily good. Destroy X target artifacts and or creatures for each permanent destroyed this way. Its controller reveals cards from the top of their library until an artifact creature is revealed. So I guess you could put it in your own artifact deck and then blow up your own artifacts. Is kind of the idea. But like it's it's for yeah it's controller yeah okay foundry hornet hidden herbalists barricade breaker and glint sleeve siphoner good that's a good rare it's a nice little rare okay foil finally our first foil gremlin infestation trophy mage hey isn't that the one you need is that the one you needed trophy mage right Felidar Guardian. Alright. Trophy Mage, right? I think. Trophy Mage. Yeah, we found one. Alright. Finally found an uncommon that you needed. Okay, Renegade Rallier again. Invigorated Rampage. Felidar Guardian. And another mythic, Herald of Anguish. This is actually a good mythic. So this is a 5-5 with Improvise um, flying, and then it says at the beginning of your end step, each opponent discards a card, which is bonkers, and then you can pay 1 and 2 and sack an artifact, and a target creature gets minus 2, minus 2 until end of turn. This is very good. This is very, very good. I didn't forget the rare, Giuseppe. Uh, we're putting the packs that have foils off to the side, and we're going to cover them at the end. So this pack here has a rare and a foil in it. This one right here. So it's it's ha hanging out over here. Weldfast Engineer, Tezzeret's Touch, Ridge Scale Tusker, and Yeheni, Undying Partisan, another good rare. Lots of black. So Bro Conky, do you play black? Because you might have to start playing black. <laughs> hey, Bob. It's going alright, it's going alright. Shielded Aether Thief, Servo Schematic, Vengeful Rebel, and Green Belt Rampager, my favorite elephant. I don't play creatures. <laughs> I'm that guy. Ah, ah, ah. Alright, foil in this pack. Lifecrafter's Gift. Outland Boar. Crackdown Construct. And a rare and a foil that we don't know. 
We'll see. All right, Aether Revolt. You you need at least one more foil to be on par with with Kaladesh Bundle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. See, listen to me. Salvage Scuttler, Dead Eye Harpooner, and a Ridge Scale Tusker. The last pack. The last pack that was like broken open. No foil. So only three foils in each bundle. Scrapper Champion. Maverick Thopterist. Reckless Racer. And then no Fatal Pushes. No Aetherborn. And only one Trophy Mage. Wow. And your rare is Karizev's Expertise. It's a fun card to play with. Karizev is an interesting card to play with. You don't. This is so you don't have to play creatures. You let them play creatures and then you take them. Right? That's how that works. All right. We're going to start from the last... We're going to go to the first foil last this time. And see if that changes our luck. Rich Gale Tusker with a rare of War of Invention. This is actually a really good card. Uh, this card is very good. Um, so, triple blue, X, improvise. Search your library for an artifact card with converted mana cost X or less and put it on the battlefield. Shuffle your library. And your foil... Foil artifact. Not what we're looking for. Night Market card. It, I mean, we are looking for foil artifacts, just not that foil artifact, right? You play Omnath, Locust of Rage in Commander, and the deck is just 99 lands. <laughs> Crackdown Construct, and Green Wheel Liberator. Getting a lot of creatures here. And your foil? Thopter Arrest. Okay. It all comes down to this last one. Let's make, let's make uh, Brokonky's birthday dreams come true here. Come on. You can do it. I have faith. I have faith. Hey, Sram is actually a really good rare as well. This card's gone up in price a bunch because of Pioneer, so that's not bad. Sram Senior Edificer. Whenever you cast an aura, equipment, or vehicle spell, draw a card. All right. Foil land? You got three foil lands out of two bundles. I don't think I've ever seen this many lands. My goodness. Well, you got two mythics out of this bundle, which is not terrible. And you got three foils, which is about average. Um, one of your mythics is pretty good. Which is the, uh, the Herald of Anguish is very nice. You hit some really good rares in this box, actually, in this bundle. Like, Sram is really good. War Invention's really good. Uh, Yeheni's good. Herald is good. Glint Sleeve is good. They don't exist. They don't exist. But this is what we've already been over. I don't know how many packs of Aether Revolt I've opened. And I've only opened, like, maybe, like, one or two inventions from that set. And I just, just nothing. Just nothing. What? Why are you giving Brokonky's funny money to me, though, Father Fro? A hundred rubles? Yes! I don't know what that translates to. How, what does that translate to? Let's see. How, how funny is your money? How funny is your money? Ah, uh, yeah. A dollar sixty two US. Uh, got there. <laughs> Thank you so much, Father Frodo. Man. <laughs> How funny is your money? Very, I'm guessing. Very funny. Jonathan, I don't have your bundles yet because the set doesn't come out until this weekend. But as soon as I get your bundles, we'll have to set up a time. What time works for you this weekend? Since you're here, you can tell me. Bro Conky, thank you so much. I have something, though. Don't I? Somewhere. Where did I put those? Where did I put them? That's the real question. Where did I put them?
Aha. Uh -huh. Check this out right here. You ready? Look, I found some gifted Aetherborns in your box randomly. I found him. I was going through a bunch of boxes on my shelf the other day of all the pre-release kits of Aether Revolt I had opened, and I was just pulling the cards out to put them into a, a shoe box so that I could condense them down on the shelf, and uh, I found, I don't know, like 15 gifted Aetherborns. <laughs> so there you go. Enjoy. At least that'll be some of the uncommons you were looking for. I can probably find you some more trophy mages if you need them too. Well, Bro Conky, thank you so much for letting me open these. This, this was really random. Uh, thank you for letting me open up those bundles for you. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed. I know you didn't get the invention you were hoping for. Um... You did hit some pretty sweet mythics and rares and stuff, and you got some pretty decent foils and stuff here. Roughly a dollar fifty. Sounds suspicious. Never, Bob. Never. Well, listen, it just sweetens the pot a bit, you know? Sweetens the pot a bit. Bro Conky dumped a bunch of money into these bundles, and they didn't they definitely didn't return on his in, his investment. Just so that we're clear, everyone. Um so if you're going to be buying uh, bundles and things, you just remember it's always a gamble. It's always a gamble with these sets. Because the reason the sets are so pricey now is because of the inventions in them. Right? And um, the only thing you're going to find is that, you know, if you don't pull it, you might as well have just bought the one you wanted, right? I mean, But I mean, like, for me, it's not about that, right? For me, it's not about that. And Bro Conky, I don't know if it's the same for you or not. I like the thrill of the chase. I like the thrill of the chase. So for me, I'm like, I want to spend the money on the opportunity to open it. Because when I open it, it's that much sweeter. You know what I mean? For me, that's where it comes from. But, if you want to be more financially, uh, you know, responsible, unlike myself, um, you know, buy the singles. Always. Always. Alright, so these are going to you. I need a baggie. Let me get these all baggied up here. But bam There we are. The baggie. There it is. Sweet. You need my... <laughs> yeah, you need Calvin's luck for a box. You need Calvin's luck for a box. All right. Well, everybody, I think that's it. I didn't have anything else to open up right now. Happy birthday to Bro Conky. Thank you, everyone, for being here. I hope you all enjoyed this quick little bundle opening goodness. Bro Conky, I'll get those mailed out to you as soon as I can. It'll probably be Friday that I'll get them mailed out, just because I have to work tomorrow and the post office. I mean, I could go... I could try to rush over and drop it off tonight, but it won't go out today. It'll go out tomorrow, and it's Wednesday, so it's technically date night for me and the wife, so I gotta, you know, it's kind of... I'll probably go Friday, because I work from home Friday, so I'll get a chance to bundle them up Friday and take them over during the day. Um, so that's my plan. I can mail them with the Patreon, are you sure? Okay. I will do that, then. I will set them aside, and I'll mail them with the Patreon stuff. Okay, sweet. Yeah, and stay tuned, everybody. There will be another uh, unboxing video sometime later this week. Uh, so it looks like Jonathan said Saturday after 4. Any time is fine for him, so stay tuned for that. There will be another live stream later this week um, where we open up some bundles. Uh of Theros because I need to get the bundle box because I use the bundle boxes for my rares. Are you guys you guys want to see this here? Before I go, I guess I can show you this. This is how I do things. Um, the 
things around here for a second. So, for instance, I've got this box. This is my Throne of Eldraine. This box has my rares in it. The rares are all in Theros. They're all in alphabetical order by set by color. This is how I have all of my sets since Eldritch Moon. Eldritch Moon is in a box there. And then I have Amonkhet, Hour of Dev, Kaladesh, Aether Revolt, Core 2019, Dominaria, Ixalan, Rivals of Ixalan, uh, Guilds of Ravnica, Ravnica Allegiance, Core 2020, War of the Spark, and then Throne of Eldraine. So I need a box for my Theros rares so that I can start putting them into theirs. I also have this sitting on my shelf, staring me in the face every day. I don't know if I'm ever going to open it, to be completely honest. Um, I picked it up from Mo. I picked it up from Mo because he had some left. Uh, and I was thankful for that because uh, my LGS didn't have any. Um, so you're talking about the rares, right? Do you know which lands are foil in the Theros bundles, regular constellation? So they are the regular non-full art lands that are foil. That's weird. But also, like, it's good that that information's out there, Kyra Kyra, because, like, I think people were probably going to be buying bundles to get just a, f a set of the full, full, the full art foil lands, right? So it's good to know that that's not the case. I also, it would have, like, driven the prices on those foil full art lands way down because you could just get them from the bundles. So the prices of those foil lands are going to go up like crazy then if they're not in the bundles. The collector's boxes have two foil full arts per pack. Okay, so that makes sense. So you can still get them from packs, but they have to be the collector's packs. Makes sense. So then there's a little bit easier way to get them, but they'll still they'll still retain their value or go up a little bit anyway, right? Like they won't go up like crazy, but they'll go up over time. Right, because the only way to get them was from cracking them in a regular pack, and you get like one per box. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean, Kyra Kyra. It's like from the aspect of like the work put in to make them is very strange, right? Should we open anything else? Do we sh do we have anything else that we should open up? I don't really have anything else to open up. I have that. I could open that up. And if we hit anything fancy. I don't know. Should I do this? Should I do this? Is this the right? Is this is this like bad manners of me? Maybe this is bad manners of me. I have this. It's the last Aether Revolt sealed product I have in my possession. I don't have any other Aether Revolt sealed product. Sealed product. Okay. I want the blessing. I want the blessing from Bro Conky to open this because it's his birthday video and I don't want to open this and open something like crazy spicy and have the bad feels. You know what I mean? That's what I'm worried about. I don't want that to happen. Do I have Theros pre-release kits? I do. I have four. My store didn't have nearly as many left as they did for the Throne of Eldraine kits.
The sound of silence. That's right. I guess Bro Conky left. He took off. You want me to save you a Theros pre-release kit? Okay. I mean, like, it depends. What do you need out of it? Father Frodo. And how soon do you need it? Zzz. The sound of silence. Can you guys not hear me? You should be able to hear me, right? Is it just like not working? Why are we zing? I've been rambling this whole time. Okay. Yeah, I wasn't saying anything. Yeah, I mean, like, I'm just sitting here waiting. Um, okay. But no action. Yeah, there's no action because I'm, I, I don't, I'm. Yeah, so I mean, like, I can do it now if you want me to. Right? Father Frodo, I can do it now if you want me to. But, uh. Uh. I can ship it with the next patron stuff if you want. If that's what you're looking for. Um. And if that's what you're doing, it's 35 Canadian. And that's after tax. And that's basically like me breaking even on it. Like I paid 35 Canadian for them. So like that's all I can that's all I can offer. Yeah, 35 CAD. Father Frodo's asking me Questions. My phone is finding secrets. It's right. I have the Zelda secret set up as like my email sound, but it also comes up as that sound for like other things as well. All right. Okay. So, just so that we're aware as well, uh, Calvin, in case you don't want the Theros pre-release kit, I do have these. I have a, a bunch of these kicking around. Okay. Because I know you were looking for Core 2020 stuff. So I do have those kicking around as well. I take it, uh, Father Frodo, that you don't want the, the kit for that price, since you sort of didn't say anything else. I'm going to open up these random packs of Theros. What do I think of Theros so far? I'm, I'm enjoying playing it. I haven't played it enough, right? I haven't played it enough. Wolf Haven, Wolf Willow Haven, Meyer Triton, Sweet Oblivion. And we got Atris, Oracle of Half-Truths. Oh, and we got a foil. Thermatage's Familiar. And a nice mountain. With a junk card. Alright. What we got here? Mmm. Bunch of commons there. Dawn Evangel. Whirlwind Denial. That's the uncommon that everybody needs, right? Or wants. Inevitable End. And Archon of Sun's Grace. That's a nice one. <laughs> no worries. Planes. And a token. Alright. Can't wait to draft it this Friday? Yeah. I gotta, I'm playing D&D &D on Friday. This is, this, see, like, this is, like, the worst planning on my part. 
right? Is that like my D and D group does D and D every Friday, except for the third Friday of the month, because that's when I normally do Friday night magic with like my old play group from like high school and college. And so <laughs> I don't get to go to Friday night magic at all, like ever, which it sucks for me. But at the same time, I get to play D and D, which is sweet. I love D and D and it's cheaper than Friday night magic. But at the same time, I would love to go and like actually draft with like the guys at my LGS and stuff so that I could like start getting, you know, you know, like a better relationship with the guys that are there and stuff. You know what I mean? Set is in champion. This is a standout rare in this set. This card is very good. This card is very good. Um, just even in standard, this card is great. So the Saturday pre-release, you went four and two and Sunday you went four and one. Wow. You were doing, you did six rounds and five rounds. Wow. That's crazy. Raphael. We only did uh, we only did four rounds at my first one and three rounds at the second one, and then I didn't get to play in the third one because. What what tier I'm at? Patreon is going so slow on my phone. Uh, I will take a look in a second here. Honor World Breach is your favorite card of the set. So Giuseppe, <laughs> I have a funny story about that. And that is um, that is that um, I came up against an opponent in round three of the pre-release at my store, and they were playing like a crazy escape deck. So like they had like two of the uh, one-drop uncommon spiders, and uh, they had a bunch of other like escape creatures and stuff that come in with more tokens and stuff. And we're playing right, and it's like turn like. I want to say like turn five or something like that. And uh, he played he played a second spider and I killed it with the enchantment that flashes in and shocks, right? And then the fall and then the following turn I played the the green enchantment that mills three off each person's library, right? And then you get to exile cards. And so the following turn I got I so I mill him three and I mill Underworld Breach from his from his top of his library and I'm like, oh snap, that's a good hit. Good riddance to that card. <clears throat> next turn, my next turn, I uh I flip my enchantment to two and I exile the two spiders, right? From his graveyard, so they're gone. I'm like, sweet, good. I don't want those coming back. They're like three fives or something like that when they when they come back. The following turn, he plays a second Underworld Breach from his hand. And he goes, if you hadn't exiled those two cards, I would have had a bunch of stuff on the board. And I was like, yep, you would have. <laughs> and I was like, you have two copies of that rare? And he's like, yeah. And I was like, in your sealed pool. Yeah. And neither of them are a promo. No. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I beat I beat him. <laughs> I beat him. Because... You know, no matter how cute you get with escape cards and one drop spiders and stuff and things that come back with more tokens and stuff, they have a hard time dealing with a 10 6 trample pig that has to be blocked by everything you have. <laughs> so I had two of the 5 3 creatures that give everything trample, and then I had the big pig, and I was like, I swing you. And he's like, I take 10 from those two, and. I block everything here, and it only blocks four of the six, the ten damage, so I take another six, and I die, and I went, yeah. <laughs> eh. Three oxes in your deck for what pre-release, that's crazy. I was not so happy with your Sunday pre because you were playing two turn to fish. And to turn things to enchantment. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Fair. Okay, let's see here. I got that. Did I get another thing? There it is. Okay. Alright, well. Father Frodo has paid for a Theros Beyond Death pre-release kit. So, uh, let's open it up. And you're okay if I open it right now, I assume, right? Now that I'm done rambling about my nonsense. All right.
You can feed goats to octopuses and survive. All right. What do you want to do with the arena code? Do you do you want it? Or do you need it? <laughs> Matt. <laughs> okay. So, um, I, what I'm gonna do then is I'm just gonna flip it. Alright. There's the arena code, everybody. This is good for six packs of Theros Beyond Death in arena. Congratulations to whoever in chat claims this first. So, get ready. Should I, like, do this? What a tease, right? And then I'll show you the other half at the end of this video. Right? That's how this works. Matt S. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, like, I do have a few more kits. Uh, I don't have a lot. <laughs> but I don't have a lot of kits. But yes, if you wanted to purchase a kit, uh, you could do so. Um, you would have to PayPal the money to uh, my store email account, which is... Yeah, uh, hold on a second. Actually, Father Frodo, do you have the the email handy for that? Where you sent the money to? Actually, maybe, did you send it to my email, or did you send it to my store email? I can't remember. Anyway, that's, uh, it's fine. I can just do it like this. Let me see if I can grab it. Uh, PayPal. Yeah, let me get the store email. It's this one. All you gotta do, Matt, is send $35 Canadian to this right here. Okay? So if you just send it to that email address, I'll get it. There's the rest of the code, everybody. Congratulations. I said at the end of the video, but there it is. There it is. Okay, Father Frodo, are you ready? Your promo card's sweet. It's not a mythic, but it's a sweet rare. I like this card a lot. It's the Nightmare Shepherd. This card is sweet. A 4-4 flyer for 4 mana is already pretty bonkers. And then the fact that when your creature dies, you can exile it instead, and if you do make a, a copy that's a 1-1 one -one of it... Things that have, like, enter the battlefield effects or, like, die triggers are sweet with this card. This card is very good. Okay. Uh. We're not doing a build, right? You just want me to crack the packs for, for like, no value, basically. Right? I'm just so I'm clear. Right, because normally I do the videos where I do builds with the kits, right? Bundles are fun, too. Yeah, bundles are fun. Oh, there you go. Atrophia. This card is great. This card is really good in limited. You have some pretty good uh, limited blue. Uh, oh, look at that. How about Daxos? It's a sweet one. Nice showcase art. I assume you want these as well, right? The showcase arts? Right? I assume. You can tell me if I'm incorrect, but you just... Because in your message you said, like, Mythics, Rares, and Foils, and, like, the lands. Alright, so your rare here... Your rare is an Elspeth, Conquers Death, which is nice. And you did get a Foil here, Foil Funeral Rites, and there's your land. I assume you don't need the tokens, right? So I just put them off to the side. It is a solid promo. It very, it very much is. It's very good and limited... But it's also good in standard, for sure. Okay. Fateful End, where am I putting your uncommons? Here? You don't need these uncommons, right? You only want the... You don't need all the uncommons, you just want the showcase ones, right? No tokens, okay, good. Alright. Mirror Shield, Hero of the Winds, and... Oh! How about an Ox? Ox of Agonos. Ag Agonos. 
Oganus. A nice wolf token. All right, all right. This this uh, pre-release kit's not too shabby. Going up in price, 16 to 20. Wow. 35 Canadian, yeah. That's how much I paid for the kits. And then I and then I'll I'll give you the cards with your next uh uh patron stuff so that way it doesn't cost me more money to mail it to you. Cuz otherwise you'd have to pay for shipping as well because otherwise I can't ship it to you. Nick's Herald Slaughter Priest of Mogus, Escape Velocity, and Fassus Oracle, another good rare. Wow. Okay. Wow. My goodness. You get more oxes like me. That's right. Damn oxisins or whatever. Oxen is. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> Wolf Willow Haven, Mischievous Chimera, Nessian Wanderer, and Idyllic Tutor. Wow. This, uh, this kit is just friggin' full of value. My goodness. Thassa's Oracle and Idyllic Tutor already, like, basically just pay for this kit, don't they? They're pretty close. It's like, what, Thassa's Oracle is, what, like, five, six bucks? Idyllic Tutor is, like, another, like, seven bucks? Is that right? Or is it, have they come down? I knew Ashak was good. I was gonna buy it off of anyone who opened it at my store when it was 13, but no one pulled it and I had to fork the $20. Womp womp. The white uh, Heliod's showcase is like the last time I saw it, which was like a couple days ago, was like sitting around like the forty to fifty dollar range. But I know it's gone up, so it could be more. I don't know. Reverent Hoplite, Clothes' Design, Soul Guide Lantern, and Calyx Destiny's Hand Double Mythic Kit here. There it is, Double Mythic Kit. You want the non so you want these non foil ones to go to just the patron pile? Okay. I will I will put them into things. Uh I will let you know in a moment, Matt. I'll check my email when I'm done here. Shoal Kraken. The Triumph of Annex. Minions Return and Storm Herald. The GOAT token! They see that email? There's the email. You got money. <laughs> Alright. Alright, Matt. You're good now. You're in. Okay. I got your money. We're good to go. So now I need now I need to keep track of things here. Hold on. Cuz okay, so you want those to go off to the patron pile. There's your foil. There's your showcase card. There's that. Did anyone get this code? Did anyone redeem it? Before the end of the world starts. Yes. Let me let me check it. Okay. That's that. And then let me get a land here. Name on it. Okay. All right. Boom. There you go, Father Frodo. Congratulations. That was a pretty sweet bundle for you. Or a pretty sweet pre release kit. It was very nice. Trying to redeem. Loading takes me forever. Okay. You're in, kid. Alright, so then the lands, you want to go to the patron pile. So put those over there like so. Uh, Calvin wants me to check his Patreon thing, so let me open that up. I think I have it open here somewhere. Uh, here. Okay, Calvin. Your current tier... Oh, God. They changed the friggin'... Ugh. Ugh. They changed the friggin' thing, and I it looks like garbage now okay currently Calvin your tier is the box plus bundle plus grab bag tier okay so what you're gonna want to do is make sure you get out of that tier um, if you don't want 
a box and a bundle next month. So you can change it now and it won't it won't do anything. Like you've already paid the amount that you were supposed to pay this month for your box plus grab bag. So make sure you change your thing before the end of this month unless you want a box and bundle next month. Okay? Okay. So that's the code. Okay, Matt, do you want your code? Do you want your arena code sent to you and have it, you know, so that way you have an arena code to redeem? All right, Cairo, Cairo, enjoy your day. Hopefully work isn't too crazy for you. Thanks for stopping in. Thanks for hanging out. Okay, give your code out to this group too. All right. Okay. All right, Matt, this is yours. And don't worry, Calvin, I still have a few more of these stocked up. Okay. Now, here's the question I have for all of you since you're here. And since you guys are like, you know, pretty much mostly my patrons and a few other folks here um, who enjoy watching the content and, uh, and that kind of stuff. Is this something that you would like me to do? on a regular basis for new sets coming out, pick up a bunch of pre-release kits, and then do a live stream where everyone who kicks me $35 can just get a pre-release kit added to their patron stuff. Yes? 110%. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, so that, so, so... So that just so it keeps me in mind because I gotta keep an idea of like what my funding is like. So I bought a bunch of kits for Mo, but I didn't buy many because I was gonna open them myself for the myself for the channel for videos. I didn't realize that you guys wanted them. If you guys wanted them, I would have bought more. So I'm gonna message Mo back and tell him I'm gonna need some more because you guys have now paid me for some of them. So I can I can at least use those funds to recoup the ones that I've lost, provided he can still sell them to me for the same price. So I'm I'll message him and ask him if I can get some more. And that way I have some more on hand for myself for videos and stuff. Um, and so then every set release, I'll just make sure I grab a bunch. Do I have Interact? Uh, I don't have Interact. I mean, like, I do, I do, but I don't. I think you can actually pay with Interact through PayPal now. So, Raphael, what I can do is I can send you a request for funds through PayPal, and you can pay it however you like. Like, that's what I did with Broke Honky. I sent him a request for funds from my PayPal account, and then he can pay it with his Visa, right, without having to have a PayPal account himself. Do you see what I'm saying? So, if you don't have a PayPal account, I can do it that way. And I don't know if it lets you pay with Interact, but I, I'm not sure, right? That's... They use Times New Roman on the Russian cards? That's gross. <laughs> Happy birthday to unemployed white boy. And hello to all beverages. Alright, Matt, let's get into your kit, okay? Your promo is a sweet promo for Limited. It is. It's not a very pricey promo. It's not as hot as the promo that Father Frodo got from an aspect of dollar value. But it's a sweet promo for playing limited. And I mean, hey, this card might even be good in Commander. Um, in any kind of blue deck. You have uh, the Kraken. The Kraken is just a sweet card. This card is very good. This card is great. Alright, who wants the code? The code is here. Congratulations, everyone. There's a code for you. He won you your Sunday pre-release? Nice. Yeah, it's very good card. Very good card. What is happening? Oh, you sent me a picture of the... Dear God. That is, like, absolutely terrible. 
You're alright if I show this. I don't know if it'll show up very well. Can you guys see the font on this? It looks terrible. <laughs> it looks terrible. Alright. That with Ashiok killed you? Yeah, I don't I don't disagree with that, Raphael. Hey, they put like a they put like an enchantment on and they're like, haha, take that. And they're like, okay, well I draw and I pay one and make a one one. <laughs> and then you just make a whole bunch of one ones and then you just overrun them. Uh now. Same goes for you, Matt. You're okay with just like mythics, rares, showcase borders, and then foils. Yes? What else do you want out of the kits? Is there anything specific? You tell me now or forever hold your peace. Elspeth's Nightmare. This card's really good in uh, in Limited. Soul Guide Lantern. Hey, there you go. Timur Timuret. Timuret. And a Hactos, the Unscarred. There it is. What about the lands? Do you want the lands? You want Gary too? Okay, all right. I don't blame you. New Gary is pretty sweet. New Gary is pretty sweet. And give the lands to me. You was you were hard punched on free release by decks with Ashiok and Kyura's Saga. That's rough. That's okay. Yeah, that's fine. It's your kit. I mean, you open the. <laughs> I don't mind giving you the lands. You paid for it. Hey, look at that. There's Gary. Good old Gary. Such a good card. I love Gary. I'm glad that they bumped him to uncommon. Because in limited, it's absolutely just atrocious playing against multiple Garys in, in like a limited format. Blood Aspirant. And Erebos' Intervention. With a nice foil Mystic Repeal. Looks gorgeous. Holy moly. This foil looks gorgeous. That's absolutely gorgeous. What am I doing? This is your rare pile here. I assume you don't want the tokens, though. Give Tony the foil lands. But only if they're non-basic. Like, Tony only wants foil gates. Remember? Like, he wants foil tap lands. Right, Tony? <laughs> Fateful End. Hydra's Growth. Triumph of Anax. And Bronze Hide Lion. With a nice mountain there. And garbage. You guys are so funny. <laughs> Don't worry, I know. I know you love it, Tony. It's fine. Alright. Shoal Kraken. Heliod's Punishment. Mirror Shield. And Storm Herald. Another Storm Herald. And a nice swamp. Okay, so... You need, uh, you need island and forest here. Come on, packs. One of each land, right? I don't know. What color commander decks do you play, Matt? What colors are you actually looking for in the lands, like, more than others, right? Like, I know you probably have multiple, uh, multiple commander decks, but, you know. Sh uh, Shimmerwing Chimera, Sweet Oblivion, Inevitable End, and another Bronze Hide Lion with a Foil Temple Thief. What? <laughs> this you would have had fun with this kit. This would have been a disaster to build. So all but green, okay. Well, you don't have any green lands yet, so there you go. Double white, double black. You're perfect for Sir Gwyn. This kit would have been a disaster to build. This kid is insane for five color fun stuff. I mean, yes, yes, but also double blue on the three drop and then double white, double red for the four drop is like rough, especially after you've gone white green for the two drop. Like, <laughs> that's pretty rough. That's pretty rough, especially since like there's not a lot of fixing in this set. Drag to the underworld, very good removal spell in, in the, the uncommon slot. Hydra's growth, Eutropa's the twice favored very nice and <laughs> delicose crafter of wonders no mythic for you but there's an island so you got everything but the green which is what you said but um delicose is an interesting card um i haven't seen anybody build anything with this yet but uh 
<laughs> Rip no bombs. Blame Gary. He took them. Damn Gary, always taking your bombs. Still, I think this kit would have been fun to play. It just would have been hard to build. And I mean, like, throwing out two bronze hide lions. Like, if you had just gone green-white. Like, if you had just gone green-white and played two bronze hide lions, people would never suspect the second one. Do you know what I mean? Like, they would be like, oh, the first one, that sucks. It's going to be hard to deal with. And then you're like, second one. And they're like, uh. <laughs> oh, on the latest game nights, Jimmy played with Dalakos? Nice. All right, well, there you go. Sweet. Yeah, that's the worst feel ever, Giuseppe. Like, getting those, getting the Scrylands in your pre-release kit, you're like, yay, Scrylands. I need these for, like, standard or whatever. Great. But at the same time, you're like, but Scrylands do nothing for me in a limited format, really. They fixed my mana, I guess. But I'd rather have some sort of rare that impacts the board state in some way. Yeah, it's not great. That Kraken is sweet, though. The, the worst is when the promo is a Scryland. At least it has a little more value to it when it has a stamp on it, I guess. But, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That sucks. There was there was one guy that uh what was it? Um w one of the guys that works at the LGS played with me in one of the throne pre-releases. Um and he opened up four of the castles in his pre-release kit. So like he I think he opened like uh two of the green ones, the blue one and the black one or something like that. And I was like that sucks. <laughs> that sucks. I mean like the the the, land, the castle lands are great. Right? Because they do they do good work. And the green ones and the black ones are, you know, probably your best ones other than the red one, right? Uh, the blue one's even pretty good because it's seen play in Fires, right? But, like, in a limited format, you don't want that many <laughs> that many castles. Like, one castle, you'd be like, uh, alright, I guess. Four. Four castles in one pre-release kit. Just terrible. You have a crap load of uh, Theros Beyond Death coming? Nice, Rick. That's sweet. Not going to fall for the collectors, though. I bought two. I bought two because I wanted to have them. One to open for the channel and one to, like, hold on to just as, like, a I have it for my collection. I have I have a throne one sitting on the shelf sealed, and I don't plan on opening it anytime soon, um, if ever. Uh, it's just going to sit just because it's, like, a collector's thing where it's, like, you know, three, four years from now, you won't find them anywhere. So, not sealed anyway. And they've banned Oko, so there's no point in opening them now. <laughs> right? Because you can't open that, like, $150 Oko anymore. Doesn't, doesn't, doesn't exist. Doesn't exist anymore. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I get it. I mean, like, I think they completely pooched it. Like, they, I think that what they did with Throne, with the Collector's Pack, was an interesting concept. And they at least did it in an okay fashion. Where it was like, there was a bunch of things exclusive to those packs that you couldn't get anywhere else. And then the, the Theros one, they're like, yeah, everything that's in it, you can basically get it everywhere else. And you're like, but... Then why would I buy the Collector's Packs then? If I can buy them, if I can get them in draft boosters, why wouldn't I just draft every weekend and never worry about it, right? Like, it just, like, it doesn't make any sense to me. Like, what, tell me right now, what's exclusive to the Theros collector's boosters? Nothing? Nothing? Non-foil Athreos. Yeah. Non-foil Athreos. This is like, the, what, the only thing that you could open that is, like, exclusive to, to those packs? Yeah, but the point is, is, like, yeah, so you're guaranteed two foil lands, which is great, right? And you're guaranteed a showcase card. Great. 
Yeah, you don't have that here either. Exactly, Giuseppe. Like, there's there's so many things that they did right with the Throne of Eldraine one, and then just absolutely screwed the pooch on the one that came right after it. They were like, yeah, look, we can do the cash grab. Sweet. And they even increased the value of the friggin' collector's boxes to the distributors. So the distributors had to charge more to the LGSs, right? So, like, the greed train was rolling, but the stuff that was in it just was, like, not worth buying. So people are just like, I'm not buying these. Get out of here, right? I'm buying two just because, you know, I want to open it for the channel to show how bad it is. It's like a, it's like a investment for me for the channel, right? And then one just sit on the shelf as like a collector's item. But yeah. Anyway, let me get these packaged up for you, Matt. Okay, rares. Gary, alt arts, lands, Kraken. Boom. Right into a little baggie there for you. Let's get a land and write your name on it. Boom. Matt S. There you are. They've lowered the prices of collector pack online. Sure. But the problem here, Rick, is that like, so for people like me who pre-ordered them, like way before they even released what was going to be in them, right? I paid the, the price that was higher because they were like, they're charging more because blah, blah, blah. So is my LGS going to refund me the money because the price dropped? Of course not. Even though I haven't picked up the product? Of course not. I've already paid for it, right? I already, I've already paid for the product. They're not going to refund me the money. Right? It's just not going to happen. Right? They should be reducing the price because the packs are not going to sell otherwise. Right? And they might not even sell to begin with, to be honest. Right? Like like everyone here in chat saying, like, you know, I might buy one. Right? Like, I might buy one or, like, two here or there, but that's it. Yeah, that's what my plan was, Matt. That's why I put your name on it here. I'm just going to put it off to the side and, and uh, send it out with your next... Gra your next uh, patron stuff in february that's cool with you as long as you're okay with that waiting a little bit all right did anyone redeem either of these codes did anyone actually redeem these i i please speak up if you did because if you did i will rip these cards up and throw them away otherwise i will add them to a list of things where i have codes that i can give out to people later you tried <laughs> And it didn't work? <laughs> Does that mean somebody else got it already? It's possible. I did. Yes, I gave them all away, Father Frodo. They're all gone. Given out. Uh, what I did is I, I dropped into um, a stream for... Uh, like one of the loading ready run guys I dropped into one of his streams while he was streaming magic and I just said hey I've got a whole bunch of codes here that are going to expire in July so can I give them out to your community because the LRR community is really good I, I really enjoy them um, and he was like yeah sure totally do it no no way too much work starting up the arena client <laughs> fair fair Yeah, so I just dropped into... It was actually Ben from Bengineering. So I dropped into his stream and I just started dropping the codes in chat to people. And I ended up giving them all away. I had I had your codes, but I also had 27 of my own from Throne of Eldraine uh, pre-release kits. And I gave them all away. Like, And, and it wasn't to bots. Like, I would drop a few in chat and then one of the mods was like, Hey, stop putting them in chat because we, bots might get them. And I was like, oh, that would suck. And then I, I was just like, okay, people, if you want a code, whisper me. I'll give you a code. And so people just started whispering me and being like, can I get a code? Can I get a code? And I was like, boom, 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 here. And I gave them and everyone was like, yes, it worked. Thank you. And I was like, yeah, no problem. I gave them all away in one stream. I think it took me like half an hour and I just gave them all out. It was sweet. Wait, I thought Broke Honk, it was broke. Yeah, I mean, like, that's the whole point, uh, Real Viking, is that he's broke, so... He, uh, you know, he had to tr he saved up his pennies and then uh, treated himself to some bundles of Aether Revolt and Kaladesh. Should have made them subscribe for the code. Eh, I don't. I'm not like. I'm not like that. See, like, 
the thing, I mean, you guys know this, right? I, I think all of you here know this, is that I actually like to make sure that the content is available to everyone, regardless of whether they pay or not, right? Um, it's it's one of those things, right? It's I don't think that content should be behind a paywall, personally, but that's just me, right? I'm not saying that you shouldn't pay creators for the work that they do, because you absolutely should. I'm just saying, like, it's up to each creator as to whether how much they value, like, how much they value their time and effort at. And for me, this kind of stuff doesn't take me much time, so I'd rather share it with everybody. And so, like, when I had codes and stuff to give away, I'd rather just be able to, like, say, hey, do you want this? If you're, as long as you're going to use it and give it a good home, take it. I want you to have it, right? The whole, like... Uh, you know, using giveaways to like say like oh like you you do a giveaway and you're like okay to, to enter you have to subscribe or you have to follow me on Twitter or whatever it inflates your numbers artificially right because people are then just gonna follow you and stuff for those giveaways and that's it and then they don't actually give a shit about what you're doing or saying right. You treated yourself with a PS4 Pro? Nice. That's pretty sweet. But yeah, it's one of those things, right? It's like, you know, I, I, I'm definitely not against people uh, putting up like a Patreon thing where it's like, you know, if you're, if you're a patron, you get access to the deck lists that I brew and stuff like that. Like, there are people out there that do that. And, you know, if I, I, I agree with the concept of I put in this work brewing this weird janky thing and if you want the list up front I want you to give me a dollar a month because you know then you get access to it fine right I mean they're putting out content and you're enjoying it enough to ask about the deck list for the thing that they've done right then why not right right it's it's not a big deal right and if you have a hard time paying a dollar for something like that well then go look for deck lists somewhere else right there's lots of places to get them for free and it might not be that person's deck list but if you cared enough about it being specifically that person's deck list then you should be okay to pay them right won't allow you to send us an sc a super chat i don't know i mean it worked earlier for father frodo so it should be set up i would imagine I don't know, Rick. Maybe they just don't want your funny money. One dollar is a one dollar. You tried it five times before it succeeded? Jeez. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. Anyway, I need to get going because it's almost six o'clock and uh, Charla, Charla just walked by the room to be like, what's he doing? It's dinner time. I'm hungry. It's date night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm coming. <laughs> I'm coming. All right. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you, Broke Honky, for letting me open those bundles for you. I really appreciate it. I'll get them all shipped out to you. Uh, thank you to Father Frodo and Matt S. as well for purchasing some extra stuff to, to continue the video. Um, have yourselves a wonderful night, everybody, and we'll see you next time. Don't forget there'll be a video tomorrow morning, 11 a.m. Eastern Time. Be a nice Thursday shuffle. We're going to open up some spicy packs. Well, maybe not spicy packs, but we're going to open up packs. How about that? We're going to open up packs. <laughs> Have a good night, everybody. Thanks for being here. I appreciate you all so much. Have a great night. And may your pulls ever be better.